Legion Sonic and Worms. Yes. Things you don't want to hear for 500, okay. Alex. <laughs> Legion of Worms. Why? Well, it, it, it sounded like he said lesions. Lesions. Uh, no. No. It was a medical. It was a medical. Are you treating joke. the legions with the worms, or the worms coming out of the lesions? Worms have a lot of medical uh, function. They do. They do. I am now picturing oh, Rome okay, total right. war, but all of my units are worms. And it is I would glorious. play the shit out of They're like, yeah, like really worms. inaccurate. Yeah. There was a well, Age of Empires 2 mod better. where you could have everybody be cows. And it was I amazing. I would love the Worms team to make like a proper real-time strategy game, but... Worms said just Worms. worms. You, <clears throat> excuse me, did you guys ever play, um... The, uh... The 3D Worms on PlayStation? I think it was PlayStation 2. A quick interjection. Who is the character that you guys were really like saying you like? Diana? Daphne. Daphne. Uh, Daphne. Which is Ranger, the girl. Jinkies. Uh, Jinkies. Where, what lane is, or like, where <laughs> is she? What does she look like? Because I want to hear Ranger. Ranger. She's, She's the Ranger. 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 Yep, looks like Ranger. Yeah. She's Windrunner. Got a, got got a got red mask, you. red face, my half mask on. She looks I like. I believe Jack that. Uh, it was Jeepers. She, she actually is voiced by Jack Black. Jeepers. Jeepers. When you click, I finally, it finally crossed my brain really? what Daphne's line was. It was Jeepers. Really? That was it. Yep. My chat, my chat oh is saying Jack God. Black plays Animal Crossing for the memes. <laughs> Daphne like says here that Daphne's Don't lie. Jack Jeepers. Black plays Animal Crossing for the same reason everyone else plays Animal Crossing. Yeah. That is to you. Every Friday, he, go and just listen I, to KK Slider. But he would also mm. make. I think his real rewarding factor as an entertainer is his ability to make the most menial things extremely epic, which is why oh. I suggested RimWorld is because he would not know what he's doing, but you would be convinced he knew what he was doing. <laughs> How about I, I would love to see him play like Spore just just for like the first two phases. <laughs> make, yeah, he, that'd be great, too. Or, or Pikmin or something. It's just something off the wall. <laughs> Like Something that. that would cater to his 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 ability to just be comedic in empty space, which is his strong. It's his strength. I mean, I think we're just realizing he can be in any movie, he can play any game. I think yeah. that's what is, we just. Is I think that's I think that's just where we're getting. So it, it is not. <sighs> the Sims would be very good, though. You're right. Jim. Yeah. Oh, it would be well, fantastic. Yeah. I. Okay, what Sims would he make? Because oh I'm like, I'm 50 50 on Jack Black just filling a house fill, like with himself and nothing but himself. <laughs> oh, the Jack Black Sims. <laughs> uh. Jack One, why are you on fire? <laughs> Jack Two, no. you got rid of the door. <laughs> Oh my god. Sims is... It's incredible for... I mean, it's incredible like how well the game has carried itself throughout all the years. Doesn't help that they make billions of dollars off of, you know, $40 expansions. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. Oh no? Oh boy, no. Oh boy. yes. Mm. Oh, oh, no, no, no. oh, come on. Oh, come oh, on. No. Look at him. Unsure. He's a confused <laughs> whale. This way, little guy. Oh. This way. <laughs> uh, no, that's oh, what he said. Oh, Bonobo, he says. Oh, Bonobo. Oh, bonobo. As he enters Valhalla. Oh. Jack Black plays Skyrim mm -hmm. on a smart I mean, that'd just be That'd just be fun. <laughs> Someone want to trade me all of the yes. Thank you. Also, who am I sending snails to this time? Uh, you can... Pentel. You can mouse over the yeah. crosshairs. You, you yeah. are attacking me. Oh my god. These hoppers. Apparently this game I'm picking on Rito, so... Rito's picking on me. Am I? 
Yes. Look at what oh, you're doing oh, to my wow. polywogs. Hey, shame. 69%. Uh, Can you really be mad? Look at that percentage I, leak. We're fine. A, wow. Nice. <laughs> if, if you leak 69%, it doesn't really count, does it? Yeah. I mean, it counts, but it's a moral victory. It does, you know. <laughs> it's, it's a moral oh, wait. victory. Moral victory. <laughs> uh, wait, I forgot we're still playing. I got to put my Depends logo back up. <laughs> mm. Logo to sponsor oh, after this. Yeah. If you put a logo down, they legally have to sponsor you. Otherwise, you can sue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I, I'm going to uh, be sponsored by Flex Tape. I think you can plunge the leaks. I'm with it. There'd be so many loopholes. Oh. You could just like open up a I Google page with ad block off and like you just it, 400 companies would owe you money. <laughs> they still make Altoids? Yeah. They must. Is that a real mm -hmm. thing anymore? Okay. I can't imagine. I don't know why I want to make them, but they're not down. a real thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the tin. Oh, uh, they they realized nobody the wanted the, the actual mints or whatever they are. They just wanted the tin. Oh, I leaked six Honestly, house. kind of true, though. Yeah, I, as a kid, I would collect tins like level, that because they were perfect Sorry, size for, like, D&D &D dice. And so I just have, like, a, a mint tin and some, like, decent-smelling dice. But don't store your contacts in there. No. <laughs> God, no. My eyeball was out of empty fresh. I once made the mistake of putting my contacts in after putting on sunscreen. Oh no! I've, I've never hated myself more than in that That's exact why you moment. Died. I ever told you guys the, the never, never told you guys the gummy bear story. I'm scared. <laughs> oh no! That's a legit fear. It's me. Okay, so having been a teenager, and that's just you do stupid things as I'm a teenager for bored scared well okay so yeah it was it was for science right so okay. it hasn't it's, reduced the fear none of this That's is happening good. something bad is being accomplished in the name of science continue <laughs> there, there was a bag of gummy bears and me and my friends were sitting in our living room i believe some hokey horror movie was on the tv or somebody was playing morrowind or did you know whatever early 2000s yeah and uh e horror picture show Ooh. That's all. Tim Curry comes Tim back. Curry, he returns. Tim Curry. And me. It always Lobo, comes back Lobo. to Curry. And me, low. Yeah. And, and <laughs> Lobo. Mm -hmm. No David Bowie, though, unfortunate. But uh, I, out of curiosity, because I really need to be like studied in a lab for where my brain does these things sometimes. Yeah. Or like lobotomy or something. I don't know. But uh, uh -oh. I was like, you know, because people do the thing where they like pull their eyelid down like Ace Ventura and touch their eyeball to like oh, gross yeah. people out. And I was trying to gross one of my friends out. Oh, uh, God. And I was like, I have an idea. This is a great no. idea. Nothing could possibly <laughs> go wrong. I bit a gummy bear in half and I put it on my eyeball. Oh, and it was one of it was a I, it was a white one. It was I, a white. Um, it was it was a white gummy bear and it didn't it have any effect at all. It was nothing happened. Strangely enough, the green one burnt like royal hell. The only one that had that effect. I don't know what they put in green gummy bears. <laughs> well, oh no. You see, the thing, the thing with the gummy bears is that whatever they put on it, I'm fairly certain it's not really designed for your eyeballs. Definitely yeah. not. Definitely and not. The yeah, you are the, you are the reason for all of those little lines on the bottom of the packages where they're like, why did why did we have to put this here? Why did they have to put yep. this here? You're Yellow the reason why, five. aren't they? Yes, yeah, number one, <laughs> number one reason. Do yeah. not apply to eyeballs. Do not apply that's, gummy bears. Okay, that's Do not, not apply on the green package. one to eyeballs. That's not on the package, though. There's no way that was in the the, the trials. It's, it's no way. Green gummy bear. Yes. <laughs> It's absolutely <laughs> clearly if gummy clearly bear gets in i wash immediately if green uh, gummy bear gets in i seek medical attention <laughs> <laughs> if green gummy bear seek divine intervention <laughs> if you or a loved one has stuck a green gummy bear on your eye you may be if green to gummy bear except cyclops <laughs> oh no <laughs>
But my eyes are functioning. As a fully grown 31 year old adult. And flow chart for this. It's like, I don't know. I achieved science. Why the green ones? Red, no effect. Some reason green had a debuff. Yeah. Are you allergic to the dye? Mm. Or, you, you know, be. common sense. <laughs> Are you allergic to common sense? No, I, well, I do have common sense, but I'm also very, very Do curious. you use it? Dangerously curious. Do you curious. just keep it in the drawer in case of emergency? No, it's for later. absolutely not. But, like, I'm leave. also not... I, I find it very... I, I'm a very explorative person. I, I know and I have done many things that have definitely damaged me more than a single green gummy bear, let's be honest. But... <laughs> I'm still here. I don't know, I lived. I lived. Oh. <laughs> his best efforts. Look. He's here. Listen. Green gummy bear can't take him down. <laughs> if I... As a 13 or 14 year old, depending on my memory's placement, needs to bite a green gummy bear in half and stick it against my left eyeball to create this moment in the future. Consider, I'm glad, it, I'm, it, I'm glad that warning label didn't do say again. don't put on your eyeball. <laughs> Would you have right listened now, then. if it had? I don't have gummy bears, do they're gross. Because I'm getting so the impression that whether it was on the warning label or not, I don't don't think that gummy ball was going anywhere but your eyeball at that. A gummy, gummy ball. ball. I don't gummy think I've ever read a warning label. Your eyeball at that point. I never read Man. a warning label. That does not can, shock me. <laughs> no, <laughs> I could really go yeah. some gummy balls right now. I want some. Yeah, that sounds nice. IKEA I gummy balls. Like gummy Swedish gummy balls. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh God. Chat, be nice. Oh, okay, there we go. I, I, I've stabilized, maybe. Maybe. I think I'm holding I holding it. exactly even on every round so far. I'm like exactly where I'm supposed to be. No arrow. No, no arrow. Common wow. sense, but ignores it. That's not true. I don't I'm ignore the common sense. Fails with dragon turtles at this point. I do like Which dragon going turtles. Down. Bring it. I do like dragon turtles a lot. Oh no, the cannoneer. Yeah, oh. Dragon turtles are. When the cannoneer of... shows up, you know that things are getting serious, though. Mm hmm. One of the best uh, fantasy creatures, for sure. I you am. Like uh... I do like dragons. You like turtles? I do like turtles. What if we made a dragon turtle? Plus one. I always love the I, uh, the Dragon Island Look, trope. If that's like a T Rex is can turn into chickens, dragon. and dragons can turn into turtles, like okay? Turtle. It's just natural evolution. It's that things got smaller and more compact. Dragon turtles are one of the coolest monsters in D and D. Yep. Um, they're also one of the scariest. Because, well, they're just like pricks. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, they're just like, like they're reptiles. They're, they're no, they're just they're pirates. They're quite yeah. literally swindlers. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm the size of an island and I could kill you, but you could also just give me gold. I could not as well. You know, mm -hmm. just like, I'm not going to do it. Try to catch me. And then you die. Wander expected Speaking to about D &D. Turtle. Okay, here, here's, so we here's a question there. for pretty much everyone. <laughs> What is your single favorite power? And it doesn't actually have to be in D&D. You can use other other roleplay um, settings as well. What's your single favorite ability that a, a player character can have that you've encountered? Like it can be a spell, it can be a feat or whatever. I really loved Lehman's Tiny Hut. It didn't matter. It wasn't actually that useful. I loved it. Camping on the go. Tell us about it. I for so it's just, a, just like a little hut. Yeah, Boom. yeah. I it's effectively you summon a hut that you can go hang out in overnight, so you don't have to worry about camping out, and it's just like a livable place for the entire party. I thought that was cool. That and like create food, food and water, because it's like create a cubic uh, amount of food, and so I'd always just create cubic bananas and just laugh about it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not a real. I, I love absurdism with like fantasy survival. And it's like, yeah, my magic system lets me do this stupid thing. 
Why not? I mean, if items count, like just like like magic items or artifacts or something, I'd say probably like sure. from a usefulness perspective, as far as like favorite, I would probably say like an animated rope is probably top tier for me. Hmm. I, I have played in a lot of campaigns that involve the DM being completely okay with throwing uh, unwinnable fights at the party, right? So like, you know how in some D&D campaigns, every fight is tailored specifically for the group so that it is doable? Yeah. And then in some campaigns, it's very much, uh, you know, if you think you can't win, you're supposed to run away. So I've played in a lot right. of campaigns like that. Um, as a result, I have grown amazingly fond of the immovable rod. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the yeah, the okay. the immovable rod has some of the most incredible edge use cases in D and D. Right, yeah, like yeah. you can you can lock doors with it. You can stick it inside large creatures and force them to stay still. You can, like. You can suspend yourself at like high elevations where creatures can't get to you. There are so many things you can do with that one like benign magical artifact that is just crazy. You're going down, Rito. <laughs> you know it. <laughs> I don't think you're sending it to me, but I am sending snails to you. Who's sending it? Yeah, no, that's right. Who am I sending Oh my it god, to? wait a second. <laughs> Oh yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, snails. Uh, I don't care who I'm sending it to. You're okay, getting it you're though. Sending, you're sending to me, Ava. You know what? You're sending to yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Giga snails. It's time. The legion has rose at risen. Rosen? Rosen. Rosen. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Eric. 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 Rosen? Rosen. Um. Did you? <laughs> did you know that? I you can love our send right now. Oh my god! Just looking at that little. <laughs> that was just amazing. Look Did you know? No. All of the snails, all of the time. Did you know that you can shift click on mercenaries at the start of every phase to queue them up so that they will get sent? I was oh. wondering oh. about that. So now I what you're saying is that I can queue up like 500 I giant snails and then just never look yep. back. No, because at the start of every phase, so when combat uh, starts and when building starts, it, it resets, clears it. So, yeah. Uh, oh. I. How dare you? I was gonna say that would be broken if it was uh, just like wave twenty-one. There's uh, look, forty mimics. I just want to bury Rhapsody <laughs> under an endless deluge of snails, and in I want game. it to happen in the you. most convenient manner possible. And I will do the same in return. This is yeah, how the world works. I think everybody so took giant snails. <laughs> I think yeah. we're how could we not murder? I mean, really? How do you see how your sin not beforehand? Is there? Did. Is there? Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's that's the money. If if the game lets you in big in your creatures, you in big in the creatures. Yeah, that's what you see, do. You get it. It it is known. Mm hmm. I, look, I'm not arguing with you. I, I, I'm 100% behind the embiggening. One of the worst things that ever happened in D&D was when they removed the colossal size. Yeah, they, removed they did. The naming, the naming of it anyway. The naming convention, because now Gargantuan is the top tier, right? I gosh, and everything I haven't actually from, looked like, at the manual. I think it's like anything 25 feet and up now is just gargantuan, even if it's like 100 feet tall. They, they took out the colossal terminology. And I'm like, but that was like where your purple worms and like your god worms and like all that, like the, the cool stuff. I mean, DM's discretion, you can totally still do that stuff. True. And it's still one of the it, things it, I it love about tabletop like RPGs over like CRPGs. Is yep. you've got a DM who can think ah, rule of cool, sure. Let's roll with that. Role playing. I think the is... story is gonna be more fun for this thing, which isn't quite inside the rules, or is a very loose interpretation of them, than if we didn't allow it. And that discretion is what makes it superior you... to me. Un plus <laughs> Can you like un you, you something? Don't. You don't. More snails. <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay. If you can snail, the... you must snail. It is very yeah. simple. Yeah. Wow. That there are no tactics, only snail. Well, 
it's not <laughs> getting it to happen that round that's for sure there are no tactics only snail only snail everything <laughs> returns to snail <laughs> is there is there a version of carcinization but for snails all your base I, I know I know there's a version of carcinization for uh ferrets and stoats and stuff I forget the name of it Oh, that reminds me. I have to get in touch with my breeder, dog breeder, and get uh, <laughs> updated. <laughs> 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 You think we, it went through all of our minds, even though we didn't really expressly realize it had gone through our minds until you corrected I had, yourself. I had, I had to fix uh, it. I had to fix it before it was a problem. most unfortunate of pauses. Um, it was the most have, unfortunate. I have to get in touch with my dog breeder and get like updated pictures oh of my puppy. Oh my god. Yes. Please. <laughs> yeah. You have yeah. my number. You know where to send these. Uh, but only if it's the dog. Oh, I can text them directly to you as well, Rhapsody. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was I was gonna text you this morning, but you were already awake because daylight savings time. Oh, yeah, exactly. And uh, also, I'm just up at six thirty every morning recently. It's weird. It's a good feeling though. I've been waking up at like twelve p.m. and it sucks. Mm. I need to get shit done, but yeah. I just cannot wake up. Or shit just keeps happening. That keeps me up until five in the morning, and I'm like, why? They just, just don't stop, minute. do they? They just yeah. keep no, going. Accidental 17 hour streams. I can't believe that happened. Because I literally went into that stream being like, yeah, you know what? This is going to be a normal stream because I've had too many long ones recently. I need to start reining in expectations. And then it's like, boom. At 10 hours, like, ah, I've got like an hour left in me. And seven hours later, I'm, dear God, I did another stream after the last stream. I've had my share <laughs> of those. Was this just you playing a silly amount of New World or something else? Yeah, I, I think it was silly I amount of New World. I played 10 hours of Captain of Industry, and then uh, I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'll just kind of show people the character I've got in New World and just, you know, play around on that a little bit. And then, yeah, seven hours later. I think my first Kingdom Come Deliverance stream was like 18 hours. I just could not stop playing. To be fair, when I was recording that, I couldn't stop playing it either. It's I, <sighs> much the same. Keep, way. I keep wanting to go back to it. I love that game. Same. I adored that game so much. Yeah. I got so unlucky with it. It just did not run on my PC. Oh, no. Oh, really? it, it's so pretty, too. That's like the worst because I don't want to turn. I hate turning settings down. And then I do yeah. when that doesn't fix it or when you can't fix it in like normal conventional means. It's even worse because certain games that like must be my first, like, Ouch. I think I beat Subnautica in like four streams. I think I was like 14 hours a day for like the first, for the four, four days that it came out. It was like I, another game I just could not stop playing, even though I'm yeah. like horrifically afraid of water. That game could not leave me. I got actually afraid of water or just like Subnautica afraid of water? Legit terrified oh, of being submerged in liquidy basins. Wow, okay. In real life. It is my worst fear. I go into a panic like you'll really never noted. see. Taking notes for no particular reason at all. <laughs> ah, the psych eval. Remember when you were 13, Panda, and you put a gummy bear on your eye? Well, <laughs> I don't know what accent that was, but we're going to just move on. I loved it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. With it yeah. that, oh, that, was, that was young and Bring Panda. him back. Yeah, bring him back. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm invested now. You can't. I need another character arc. Yeah. This is the story we needed. The hero we deserved. Penta is impressing the team. Let's go. What do, what do I do when I can't send any more snails? I cap uh, out he snails. He would love to heal those snails. Yeah. Oh my god. There's and actually then so you many send snails. Pack leader oh boy. To make the snails more boy. cohesive as a unit. Oh boy. There were so many snails. That was the first frame drop I've had in this game since like, getting it. Was <laughs> all the snails spawn? It was like can't handle it. It's go down for just a few I, seconds. That some of these sounds like they're, we have a dearth of snails and need to up our numbers. Mm -hmm. Love yeah. that word. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, very dearth. underused. It's so good. That was a lot of snails with a hero there, wraps. <laughs> Did it uh, has. Yeah, what? no, it, it's gonna make me leak at 100%. Woo! Shut down. Shut down. You have 77 HP. 
I could have sneezed on you when you would have died. Bye bye. Oh, that's uh, that's probably GG right there. I think. Yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah oh yeah. God, kill oh, me. Oh wow. Send me. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, wow. He's, he's that's snails a win. Yes. <laughs> we did it. <laughs> Team Snail. Team Snail. Op op. Oh. Oh, really good. <laughs> I did well. I, I love the meme plays. I really do. <laughs> wow. It's not a meme play if it's the caught. superior strategy. Well, I mean, it did actually work for us here, yeah. Yeah, no, I've You know what? You, you, the only reason you lost is V didn't take giant snails. Yep. I can see it right now. Uh, the, only, yep, the only reason. Apparently. Yep. Yeah. The is only as strong as its weakest link, and there's no giant snails. My bad. There was a it's serious okay, we lack forgive. of leafy getting energy in lane two. <laughs> no.